Hey everybody, it's Britt here with the Tuning School. I'm back with Bob and we're gonna go over more fuels because we've got more testing under our belt. Today we're gonna be talking about C85 and how it compares to regular pump E85. All right, so we're back. We're gonna be talking about C85. Before we jump in, just like normal, let's talk about what C85 is because sure. not everybody might know. Sure. So explain to me exactly what this stuff is right here. Uh, well, we did talk to VP Racing about it mm -hmm. and uh, they explained that they created a solution for people that like the ethanol-based fuels, mm -hmm. but really wanted something that was a more pure, known standard, you know, output. So yeah. like pump- As far as content Content, goes. yeah. yeah which was a huge con for the previous E85. You don't really know what's coming out of the pump. 40%, 80%, you really don't know. Mm -hmm. um, but with this stuff, uh, they say it should come out right at 70, and ours tested right at 69, 70, it was right yeah, on. Yeah, it was actually perfect, which is already a huge plus in its favor, right. because it is uh, indeed better. But mm -hmm. what we did find with our car, though, was just like with the 85, how we were so close to running out of pump and things like that, yep. having that extra content, needing that extra volume. Needed even more. Right, sure. it, it, we weren't able to keep up with it. So what we actually did is we have another sticky note. It's a good sticky. And we cut it down using 93 down yep. to C40. Right. So it's not quite as the highest concentration as we could get. Right. Um, which is kind of better though because I want to, you know, I and you and mm -hmm. uh, hopefully everybody at home right. wanted to know what these, you know, punch out at sure. at the same content level. At the same level. So, so we equalized yeah, it. Yeah. So we equalized it. We cut it down with 93 and we yep. put it in the car. Yep. Um, so now that we, you know, went ahead and did all that, sure. we did our testing and let's sure. talk about the numbers that we found. Well, hang on one second. The one thing I think people watching should understand is that from all the testing we've seen and the, the you know data we've gathered, over 40, 50 percent ethanol content, you really don't see any gain in power. Yeah. You're pretty much past yeah. that point. You could run 80 percent ethanol. It's not going to make any more power than it does when you've mixed it 40 or 50 yeah. percent. And, and power as far as, as the octane is negligible above Yeah, that the point. gains are just not there yeah. for you. So it's not any harm in our testing you know, for power output. Um, so it, do, it did work out great because that's about what this direct injected car could actually tolerate in terms yeah. of supplying it, fuel mm -hmm. that we needed. It was right around 40%. 40 percent. Yeah, over that you kind of run out of fuel mm -hmm. and you're done. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But yes, numbers. You guys will, will like this, I think. All right, so to recap, we're going to talk about E85 because it's actually our current champion. Okay, so that made 618 and 556. 618 rear wheel horsepower. Yep, and 556, 556 foot pounds of torque. On our Mustang Dyno. On our Mustang Dyno, and you yep. can see that on the laptop there. Yep. And so C85 made 629 and 556. So the yep. exact same horse, or exact same torque, right. but we gained 11 horsepower. Yes. Now, as far as the rules are concerned, it's a winner. It is a winner. It so we winner. do technically have to take the belt off yes. of our E40 here and throw it on our C85 mm -hmm. because it was indeed better. Maybe. Maybe. If you can get the belt to stay. There we go. Yes. Our C85 slash C40 yes. is better. Yes. And it is the new champion. It's the horsepower king so far. And, you know, to, to really talk about the testing, the horsepower is higher. The torque is the same. So the dyno charts will show it really the gains were just in the higher RPM range. Mm -hmm. Um, so if you were uh, drag strip oriented, yeah. you know, and you're just going to be full throttle from, you know, and every time you hit a shift point, you're over, you know, 5,000 RPM or whatever, that's definitely going to be a better fuel. You're going to go faster. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I totally agree. Yeah. All right. So now that we know exactly what this made and then it's our new champion, let's talk about um, some pros and cons. And we're going to start first with cons. Sure. And we just wanted to preface, you know, if you guys really want to know a lot of the cons for this. We pretty much covered it in the last video, and yep. a lot of it had to do with ethanol and sure. and having to have the mechanical parts for it and yep. or tuning. Yep. So if you're really interested in getting more cons towards just ethanol fuels in general, definitely go back and watch yep. our last video with E85 because we talk a lot about that. Lot, yeah. But today, right now, we're only going to be talking about cons Specific specifically to, this, to this fuel. Right. Right. And the biggest thing that we found was cost. Is that right? Cost. So our quick search of pricing uh, came up about 15 bucks a gallon in a five-gallon pail. Right. Um, Contrast that to your pump E85, which is here in Florida, comparable to 93 octane, so 250, three dollars a gallon. Yeah, and some um, places it can get even cheaper than that. It as can, a pump. it can. You know, maybe they're in the cornfields and yeah. it's you know much cheaper. I don't know, but mm -hmm. I will tell you, there's a huge price gap between these two. Yeah. Similar products. Yeah. But that pays for purity of product. Yeah. 
Yeah, obviously yeah. it does. And yeah. the other side effect as well is obviously accessibility. Sure. So if you're buying this stuff, you've got to be at a, a VP distributor, um, or I don't yep. know if you can order it online or not. I but you can ship you five gallon drums, I'm sure, from a distributor. From somewhere. Yeah. There's places that right. sell it online, and right. I suppose that you can get yep. it from. So sure. it, you can't just go to any pump, pump right. and get it and sure. fill your car with it. You've got to buy sure. you know, two really or three means of them. The real use for this stuff is racing. Yeah. You know, that's how I would look at this. I wouldn't use it as a daily driver type fuel. It's yeah. way too expensive. Absolutely. All right, so we're going to talk about pros now. Sure. And the biggest pro that we came up with mm -hmm. is highest power. Highest power. So I mean, you I, can't complain. It's that, absolutely. That really is. It speaks for itself. It's great. I mean, it's it, it kills your pump gas, you know, by a huge margin yeah. from 629 to 574 yeah. with 93 octane. So I mean the the yeah the the, there. the difference there I mean that's a huge huge difference power increase with Absolutely. just something that's a, a fuel and that's it's Absolutely. really really impressive honestly yeah it is um, so tell me who who could use this so I would use it if I were just going drag racing okay you know because obviously at the price you know you're normally going to spend the money for the race fuel at the drag strip mm -hmm. um, so it's too expensive probably for road course racing unless you're really into that you know you're going to sure. spend the money you got a million dollar motor but at the same time. It's up there with the price of other gasoline-based race fuels. Yeah. They're 15, 20 bucks a gallon. Yeah, just it's like very this. similar. So just yeah. like we said with the, the yeah. other race fuels, it's yeah. not for a daily driver it's car. It's just not. It's so not. On but so if you want to get every last, you know, horsepower yeah. and a significant, you know, increase over, you know, pump gas, that's, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's there for drag strip use. That's what I would say. And what's cool to that point, you mm -hmm. know, let's say that like, oh, I really want that extra horsepower. Sure. Well, if you run something that is street friendly, sure. like E85, sure. it's more street friendly, right? Yeah, absolutely. You're only going to lose 11 horsepower. Right, yeah. There's not you know, a huge as far as our testing, no. it, it can show. And it was really only, only over like 5,000 RPM. It exactly. Wasn't, it wasn't the whole Which range. is still really impressive. So yeah. even if you're, you, know, you really want to use an ethanol type fuel in your car as a daily driver, mm -hmm. the E85 stuff is probably better suited absolutely. than obviously the C85. Absolutely. But if you want every last horsepower, that's really what VP says it's for. That's what we found too. Awesome, very yeah, cool. Absolutely. Well, up next, we're gonna be testing MS-109. We're gonna see if it can overthrow the C85 champ here, and right. we're excited to do the testing. That's right, it's gonna be it fun. It should be awesome. So for more high performance tuning knowledge, make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on social media. And as always, stay tuned.